The dollar store has a really fun selection of wall decals and peel and stick wallpaper and all sorts of fun temporary wall decor options. And for this craft, I decided to grab a pack of wall decals and make some framed wall art for our upstairs bathroom. So grab a couple of these 8x10 crafter square stretch canvases. We're going to do a, rever a reverse canvas craft, which is nothing new on my channel. But if you haven't seen this technique before, it's super easy. All you do is you start on the back of the canvas and use, I use a pen blade, you can use a razor blade, but just very, very carefully score that canvas on the outside of that row of staples. I don't know if um, Dollar Tree has changed their canvases or what, but this one seemed like it had like more staples and that this gave me a lot harder of a time than I normally have with dollar store canvases. So I don't know if maybe this was just like a weird batch, but there was like a lot of extra fabric in the corners and it just took me a lot longer to cut everything away. Normally this isn't an issue, but for whatever reason, I may, you know, this is what it was and I made it work. It just took me like five extra minutes, not a big deal. But just cut away all of that canvas until you've completely removed that stretched canvas from that wooden frame and then you have a cute little wooden frame that you can fill in. So from there I just took a pair of scissors and cut that canvas down to size. So there's a little fold or a ridge where the canvas was folded over that wooden frame so just trim right on the inside of that line and make sure that the canvas um, fits right on the back of that wooden frame without any extra fabric poking over the edges. So then from there, I just grabbed some Mod Podge. So I used Mod Podge matte for this project and I applied a solid coat of Mod Podge to the entire canvas. And here's why. Yes, I know I only needed to Mod Podge the decal, but I wanted a consistent finish on my project. And I, I knew that if I didn't Mod Podge the entire canvas, I would have like differences in finish or in sheen between areas that were Mod Podged and areas that were just the canvas. So do a solid coat of Mod Podge across the whole canvas and then let it dry. From there, you wanna take hot glue and hot glue all the way around the back of that little wooden frame on the staple side. So I left all the staples in because I was way too lazy to remove all those staples. If you wanna do it, have at it but I did not have the energy for that so just hot glue and then add the piece of canvas fabric that has one coat of Mod Podge on it smooth everything out and then you've got this nice cute little blank slate that you can fill with in this case wall decals so these are kind of modern I tend to do I tend to be more like cottage farmhouse in my home but in my kids bedrooms and bathrooms I tend to be a little more modern and since these were for the kids bathrooms I went with these decals. I think they're super cute and super fun. But just add a quick coat of Mod Podge. And because we did that first base coat, you don't have to get all the way to the edges. So it's a lot easier. Just do like a nice even coat of Mod Podge there and then smooth that decal right into place. The reason why I didn't do this before I hot glued the canvas fabric on is I wanted to make sure that I got my decal like perfectly centered. And then I just sealed it with another coat of Mod Podge. Set everything aside to dry. And I made another one with a second wall decal. There were four in this packet, so only used two. And then hung these up on the bathroom wall in our upstairs bathroom with some command hooks. Way too easy. And I think this just kind of adds a cute little like pop of color, a fun modern little wall accent in this space. I'm super happy with how this craft turned out and it was super easy to make. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Until next time, happy making.